Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we have a little bit of a leak for the upcoming Ryzen 5 2400G as well as the Ryzen 3 2200G. Now this leak comes courtesy of MOEPC.net, this is actually a Chinese website, and leaked here are several different charts of uh, detailing performance, but we're most notably interested in the 3D Mark 11 performance graphics uh, because we see it stacked up, the 2200 and 2400G, we see those two chips stacked up against several of their competitors. Now, if you'll recall to some of AMD's own release slides, you'll notice that they compared the 2400G's graphics in some cases to the 1030, which lends a little bit of credence to the legitimacy of this leak because here we see the 2400G just barely outperforming the GT 1030. Now, it seems fairly safe to assume that this is at stock clocks, and because we know the Ryzen 5 2400G is unlocked and capable of being overclocked both on the CPU and GPU side, it also seems fair to imagine the uh, 2400G actually outperforming the RX 550 mobile chip that it's just slotted in behind, and if you get a really solid overclock, you may actually start to approach somewhere around the GTX 1050, probably a little bit behind it though. So even without an overclock, the 2400G looks like a great entry-level chip for people that are trying to avoid the graphics card market as it currently stands, but also with a solid overclock, getting it somewhere between the 1030 and the 1050, uh, just doing a quick YouTube search for GT 1030 gameplay at 1080p shows us that the 2400G could actually be a very capable gaming chip, even on modern AAA titles, provided that you're willing to run your games at those mid-range settings or maybe even lower in some of the extreme cases but in most cases you're going to be running up to 60 fps or very near that especially if you overclock your 2400g at 1080p settings so this is definitely an encouraging leak and if you didn't already know the 2400g along with the 2200g launch on february 12th and picking one up would allow you to completely bypass the discrete graphics card market because right now we know it's outrageously priced in most cases unless you get very lucky and find a card near MSRP. So I know this was just a quick one, but let me know in the comments down below what this leak does to your opinion of the 2400G and even the 2200G down that does rank just a little bit below the 1030, but with an overclock on it, hey, it may even reach those levels of the 1030. And of course, if you like this content, give it a like, a share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube go ahead and queue up a few more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.